It is a tiny find with a potentially huge impact. Scientists found microplastics in the snow here in Colorado. Our Mountain Newsroom reporter Spencer Wilson talked with the researchers who made the discovery. We've told you about the dust on snow, causing the snow to melt faster when the sun heats up that darker surface. Well, inside of that dust, researchers are finding microplastics. Most common kind we see are long, thin fibers. They can be straight or they can be curled up like a, like a figure eight or a pretzel even. And where are they coming from? Are plastics, like at the dump, made smaller over time but never fully disappearing. When we're talking about microplastics, sometimes we're talking micro micro, so small you can't even see it with the naked eye or with the help of a magnifying glass. So about an eighth of a red blood cell in diameter, which is absurdly small. They're coming in through the atmosphere. They're being deposited by windstorms, but I think they're also being deposited under quiet circumstances. Microplastics are in Earth's atmosphere. Just it, it's by their shapes, their sizes, their colors. We know these are man-made. Plastics. So what does finding them mean? Right now, scientists are still working out the effect they might be having, but it's not just in snow they're finding them. It's been recorded that microplastics have been found in lung tissue and in human blood and in the placenta. So it, we're, we're ingesting and respiring microplastics. Reynolds isn't a biologist, so he's not at liberty to say if it's a good or a bad thing, but the plastics don't just go away. Foreign particles in bodies, yeah. Um, I, I, I don't, I can't say. What he can say is... It's here, it's in our backyard, it's in the front range too, of course. Now they're working to figure out if the amount is increasing here in Colorado over the years, and should know later this year. Reporting from the Mountain Newsroom, Spencer Wilson covering Colorado first.